If you didn't watch that, make sure you go watch it ASAP. It worked. Yo, yo, that was trippy. It worked. My vehicle has a flat. Yup, tell me about it. See, I think the weather trying to tell us something. It's time to admit my saltiness. So this is real deal audio. I escaped again. Whoa. Vlog 178, welcome back. As you can see, I'm in Final Cut. I'm exporting yesterday's vlog. If you didn't watch that, make sure you go watch it ASAP. We took a trip on the little 50s to Micro Center so I could pick up a headset microphone that I wanna use for vlogging. I wanna test it out and see how it works with moto vlogging. Unfortunately, the audio yesterday in the beginning, if you watched the vlog, I hooked up that newer microphone that I tried to vlog before that. And unfortunately, when I put the phone inside the little compartment box, if you see like right here, when I put it inside the compartment box in the gas station, I unplugged the microphone accidentally. So the vlog audio yesterday in the beginning was horrible. Um, and then on the ride, I, the ride was extremely long. I downsized yesterday's vlog a lot. It was like a two and a half hour ride. We took a lot of back blocks and everything, but I downsized it to about six minutes just to you know give you guys the benefit of the doubt not to bore you. Um, and then we bought the headphones. The headphones are dope. I'm gonna give you guys an up close look on what they look like today. And we're gonna do some test audio and see what they sound like while I'm on the meet meet. So now's a good time to give you guys an up close and personal look at what the packaging looks like. I know I wasn't able to do that yesterday. I was kind of in a rush. Check it out. Pretty simple box. I mean, the box looks pretty simple. Pro HT, I guess that's the brand, right? It's an affordable brand. Remember I was telling you guys that Micro Center is kind of like a harbor and freight. So let me tell you, aside from the quality, last night I tested them and I was blown away when I found out. Remember I was telling you guys that I would have liked to plug these two jacks up to two separate things. For example, like one jack into an external audio device and then the other jack to let's say my headphones so I can listen to music while I'm riding. So basically, while I'm vlogging, the goal will be to listen to music through this, but then to capture my voice through this. And guess what guys, it worked. Yo, yo, that was trippy, it worked perfect. I was able to listen to music and record at the same time. So that was dope, I was blown away. Um, I didn't really get a chance to test these out in the real world today, and it's actually pretty gloomy. It's a really windy, gloomy day. They remind me of the old like 1994, 1995 headphones you used to get with like a uh, tape player. Remember the tape players from back in the day? Anybody remember those little Walkman? Yeah. Let's take this off. It probably has like a cheap microphone in it. Let's see if this comes off. I don't want to ruin it if it doesn't come off. Oops, bam, it came off. Check it out. Let's see what type of microphone it has in it. Oh, uh, that is good to know. So ideally, I want to speak into that. All right. Is it a double-sided one? Huh? Check it out. The little thing keeps moving around. Is it double-sided? Does this mic does it have one mic joint or two mic joints? No, it has two mic joints. So the mic goes all the way around. All right. So check it out. And then it swivel right here. Like this swivels. One thing I noticed for sure was that yesterday when I was using it on the ride back, strong winds, I guess because I was on the highway, um, kind of like lifted it off slightly. Maybe it'll work better with like a hat or something. I mean, these are cheap guys. What do you expect for seven bucks? You know what I mean? You can't ask for much. I'm sure they got like a high quality, better $100, $200, $300 version. But for seven bucks and for the instant uh, ease of being able to pick it up the same day, yo, it was worth it. You got a little volume control right here. Check it out. The volume control. See, what's it say? It says volume control. How cliche, right? It says volume control. Um, yeah pretty neat I'm not gonna take off the little foams cuz you know probably mess it up but they're adjustable they fit I guess a couple head sizes they're really cheap as far as like the plastic material it's pretty flimsy but again guys <laughs> the price and look at lightweight so they boast lightweight <laughs> lightweight capabilities you're gonna go 10 yo this is gonna add 10 horsepower to my little RH50 yo I'm gonna be out there's like nines I'm gonna be like yo what's up you trying to race I'm gonna bring these Johns out yo so we're gonna give these a little test today and see what they sound like. You tell me what you think. Here's the update, y'all. So I gotta go pick up some food. I just ordered, and guess what? My vehicle has a flat. Yup, tell me about it. And it's starting to rain. So rather than being late on picking up the food, I'm about to ride in the rain to pick up the food. I ain't even planning on this happening. This just detoured my whole day. Now I gotta go and 
fix the flat and everything. And it's raining, so I'm not sure how this whole mic test is gonna work out. You see the drizzles? Hopefully it slow down. Yo, I didn't bring any action cameras either, y'all. I ain't bring no action cameras, and I'm out here getting wet. Like, if y'all seen these wood grain glasses I got on right now, because I'm rocking the wood grain johns. If y'all seen the wood grain johns, like, the front of the glass look like a windshield without a wiper. They soak, yo. I mean, they don't look like it's raining a lot like right now, but it's drizzling. And when you're going 23.1 miles an hour, yo, let me tell you how I'm getting beat up all these little raindrops. But it's cool, it's cool. Stuff like this happens, man. Vlog life. See, I think the weather trying to tell us something. Nope, not today. I was supposed to be taking my wife some food. You know what I mean? I was gonna drop off my wife some food at work. And guess what? It started raining. Yeah, man. Not to mention that now I gotta go fix a tire. Ain't that crazy? It's raining, it's pouring, and it's snowing. Yo, man. It's drawling, still drizzling. And now I gotta jack this up. And go get some air because I don't have an air pump nearby. <laughs> What y'all think, the tire's still gonna be salvageable or what? I hope so. Now we driving back to normal, yo. Well, before I really, it's time to admit my saltiness. All right, y'all, so we're not gonna be able to hook up that mic today or even test it. You know those two mic tests that I did the past two days when I thought I hooked up the external mic to the iPhone? Wrong! Thanks to this video right here. Thanks, dude. Thanks to this video right here, something told me to research like how to hook up a microphone to an iPhone. And I found out that you need another cable. Yup, guys, another cable. I actually just ordered that micro USB to 3.5 millimeter cable for the GoPro so I can hook up the mic to the GoPro. So I just ordered that from Amazon today. But guess what? Now I need another cable just to hook up a microphone to the iPhone if I want to do that external recording like we were talking about. All right, y'all. So I'm out here and it's still raining. I just wanted to give you guys a test regardless of what was happening. I wanted to test some type of microphone today. Right now, I'm actually using the original iPhone 7 headphones, the ones that come with the built-in mic, the little white ones. I'm using these and I got them plugged into my iPhone 7 Plus and I'm capturing the audio externally off of that. So this is real deal audio. We're actually going to hear some type of audio here. I didn't get to use the headset because I don't have that adapter yet. I already explained that whole adapter situation. But I figured I'd at least give you guys some type of audio test. Hopefully this should be clear vlog audio. And then after this test, you know what I mean? I bust a little willy willy, you know what I mean? All right, y'all, we out here. We out here. I'm wondering if y'all can hear me. Can you hear me or do you hear mostly the pipe? <laughs> you see, I figured I'd come up with a plan. I said, all right, it's raining. I'm not going to let the rain stop me, right? So I'm gonna go under some type of underpass. There should be like a, I don't know, like a train underpass or like a highway underpass. And it shouldn't be raining there. I can probably get a little bit of practice in, know what I mean? A couple of bet beps and I'm chilling. Hey yo, it's windy out here, yo. It's windy, it's raining. I got on a t-shirt, I'm gonna get sick. <laughs> for real, for real, I think I got a pretty good abuse system. All last year I didn't get sick, yo. Like I was blessed. I was very fortunate enough to not get sick last year. All right guys, we made it. It took me long enough to get here. But this spot right here is good because this spot is like a good two, three blocks of train, which means I got like two, three blocks to practice. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, uh, traffic, traffic, looking for my, what is it, chapstick, right? Go ahead. Might as well let them all go by because I'm just gonna be willing, right? Oh snap, that John was crooked, right? That crooked willy. Oh, come on. I really need to get that back brake John on Smash. All right, y'all, so what's up with this? I be getting to like five, six bam bands and then I'm doing like 20 miles an hour. I need to do a slow bob. All right. Yo, you should hear the bulls almost. Yeah! 
Hey, yo, I'm only really in like like two car lanes, yo. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lex! There you go. Yeah, Lex. Here's your birthday present, dog. Happy birthday. I know you're happy. You're like, yeah, two William. Yeah, two, and I see you. There you go, Lex. There you go. That's a start, right, buddy? Lex, I'm addicted. All I want to do is keep the wheel up, Lex. All I want to do is keep the wheel up. Ah, hey yo, I was slow bobbing that John. <laughs> now that John was chilling. What do you think? I felt perfect. I felt the bottom's point. I felt the locking point. I felt everything. Like everything felt really comfortable. It's like they say, once you're in there, you're in there and you feel real comfortable. See, I get farther and farther, yo. Oh, snap, tune about to start wheeling whole blocks, yo. <laughs> On day six, I don't know how many hours, but I spent probably an hour to maybe three a day. An hour at minimum to maybe three max a day for six days so far. The boy was like, hey yo, hey yo, how you willy that John? How you willy that John? <laughs> I told him, uh huh. <laughs> Whoa, y'all saw that, right? Hey yo, woo! I think I might be the next scooter dude, yo. Hey yo, this video is to show you that anything's possible. Listen, watch six vlogs ago. Watch me when I first brought this joint out, and I was picking this joint up like hey, this, like that. And then I was like this. And now look at me. Now, now I'm like this. You see what practice does. Do you see what putting your mind to something does? Don't let me hear anybody tell you, you can't do it. Scooter do for real. Yo, he's sleeping. Yo, check him out. Oh well. I looked right. That's what I get for looking right. I should have just focused on the wheelie. I scraped again. Whoa. That was cool. Yo, I scraped again, yo. Yo, my feather gonna disappear. I'm a professional scraper. I'm a street scraper. Yo, I be bobbing that joint now. I feel me going down with my suspension every time I press the brake.
Hey, yo, I think I'm ready for American Street now. I think I could go back to American Street and start, you know what I mean? Start doing some, some blocks. 